Hey everybody, what's going on? So today we're going to do an unboxing of this H710. Uh, this case is still going for like $150 to $200 depending on where you get it. I saw it on Amazon for like $170. I got it on eBay for $32. It uh, was supposed to have broken glass. I did order spare parts. So I already got that just in case. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it. You can see it's holes. Wow. Okay. That's a big boy. Oh god. Oh, he's big. Okay, small guy. All right, from the box we can see that it did definitely get pretty beat up. We'll, uh, we'll have to see how much damage was done to the case. So, to start for the features, on the front of the panel we have uh, two USB Type-A ports, headphone jack that's been converted into one for microphone and headphones, and then a USB Type-C along with your power button. For cooling, it's kind of messed up, but on the front you can do three 120 millimeter fans or a three fan AIO or two 140 millimeter fans. On the top, it's the same. You can do three 120 millimeter fans or an AIO and two 140 millimeter fans. The rear does have one 120 millimeter fan and can fit 140 millimeter, it looks like, too. The case itself did come with three front panel fans and one on the back. And the motherboard support, it'll support mini ITX, micro ATX, ATX, and ETX. Um, it is a mid tower case, and so there is a pretty good amount of clearance. It looks like the only thing we'll have a little bit of issue with is the cooling, but it's got some pretty big grills here on the side. I'll turn that for you. We'll get to that in just a second. It's all the way around, so it does look like it's going to be a really fun case. I'm excited to use it, so. Okay, first impressions are we've got two broken feet. So that's part of our $32 from eBay, but hopefully you can see that on camera pretty good. This in the picture is what they said the broken panel was. Did they never even try? I can almost already tell. <laughs> no way, are you? So as you can see, the broken panel was a scratch in the plastic. They sold an almost $200 case for 32 bucks. And we don't even need our spare parts, which I'm glad they sent. It was really cool of them. It's pretty cool too. I didn't know, but NZXT, they actually send a few of the parts, even if you order it off eBay and not through them. I mean, they charged me for that whole glass panel, which is this whole side here, $8. So that is pretty good, I'd have to say. So, so our panel's not broke, but we do have broken feet. Okay, and we got it flipped on its side and where these feet go, as you can see here, we've got this. It looks like it was broke beforehand and they didn't mention it because it's glued together but not very well. Also, completely just mangled. And it looks like too, it was also glued to try to fix it. Screws are still sticking out of the bottom of the case. It does have though a nice removable dust tray for your power supply on the bottom. It is a little bent up and damaged. Hopefully we'll be able to order some new feet. I will, uh, I'll do that in another video, definitely. But for now, we'll move on. So we got broken feet, but no broken glass. So it's definitely, I guess, choose one or the other, huh? So. All right. 
into looking in the side of it here. It slides in, there's two prongs on the bottom, they just slide into the metal frame. And here on the back, you can either use a screwdriver or your thumbs. Use a screwdriver, get it loose, and it just pops out like that. Two feet, just slide into the bottom right here, right here. Slide to the side, not break it. It's the inside now. At the top you can see power button, two USB, 3.0 type A, USB-C, and a headphone jack. So, very minimalistic, but I do like how it looks a lot. Put on, removable hard drive trays. Both areas here. Case fan included. Three case fans on the front included. Your cables. And this is to hide your cables. It is a little bit big. It does seem like it would be hard to zip tie stuff down, but there are a few uh, metal hooks here so you can like run cables through it. I really like how it looks from the inside. It's definitely nice and roomy. I don't, I mean, here on the front, these, that's a, probably about an inch. Let's see. You got about an inch. Airflow coming in all the way around and it's on both sides too. And so I don't know how bad it'll be. We'll definitely have to do some benchmarks and play with it later. But today it's just an unboxing and getting an idea of what we got inside. It does include the fans. It's all very nice. It's a great presentation. I do like it a lot. And hopefully you can see. Yeah, that's perfect actually. Okay, cool. Alright. We'll uh, flip it over and do the other side. Okay, and so here on this side, and we already saw, I laid it down on its back, there's one button to remove this panel on this side. Just hit it, panel falls away. And there's three metal prongs that also go into the metal case. Very easy, I love how that comes off. It's nice that it doesn't have a bunch of screws, just to get to that side. And then we can see our cable management situation. And I love how this thing looks inside. You've got all of these channels here for running different cables. Big open spot on the back for mounting your CPU cooler. More two and a half inch hard drive uh, trays. You just unscrew them with one screw. Very simple, it looks like. Pop them out, put your screw or uh, your hard drive in and screw it back on. Connectors for the fans. This is a removable hard drive tray for the three and a half inch hard drives. There's four screws on the bottom. You can slide it back and forth and the whole tray will come out if you want more cooling or if you need to put in like controllers or something for your lights later on, so. And it comes with a little accessory package, cable ties, fan accessories, headphone jack, all sorts of screws. It's nice too, the screws are all labeled. I've definitely seen cooler little boxes for the um, case components, but it's still nice to have everything just in that little box and it slides in there perfectly. And a big old instruction manual for the H710, H710i. From what I have read, the only difference between the H710 and the H710i is that the i has a fan controller, uh, like a, a smart cam device. And so I don't see that in this one, so I don't think we got the, the H710i. I think it's just the H710. All right, there is one more thing I probably should show. It's uh, under here, there's a uh, magnetic screen. It's just like this, but it's a little bit bigger. The only issue is taking off these front panels and this top panel is really hard. So what we'll try to do, try to, oh God, dust filter. And as you can see, it's got all these really, really big pegs, but we didn't break any. And then you can see what I was talking about here. You've got this dust filter. It's just magnetic. It slots into the bottom. Really nice. Three fans, NZXT. They all look really good. I mean, gosh, this case. I I am definitely impressed with it. It's it's a nice case. I think too, if you're not trying to run like a 3090 and get something that's super hot and like a thread ripper, then you're probably going to be okay if you're running, you know, a, a Ryzen like 7 3700 eight core or a five a Ryzen five, some six core piece CPU. That's probably going to be okay. So. All right, and then the top panel. Well, there's no dust filters up here that I remember. Probably still worth it to show you guys. Oh, that was a lot easier. And again, you can see huge pegs. There's four uh, screws here. You can do thumb screws or they, you can use a Phillips head on them. This will pop out the top rack for mounting your, your fans or your AIO. This can just come all the way out. This is removable. So you can see one screw here, and there's a screw in the top. You can take out this thing if you don't want it to uh, be in the way. I mean, I kind of like the way it makes the case look. 
honestly, for what I'm seeing with the whole case, kind of, it's pretty modular. I like how everything, you can just pop these in and out. Slide that there, slide that there. I mean, all around, I'd have to give it a probably an eight or nine out of 10, but we'll have to see how it performs uh, thermally. I'll probably still test it myself. A lot of people have already done a review on this case. I just mostly wanted to put a video up because I think for $32, even with broken feet, I can get those from NZXT and it's really not gonna be that expensive. And so, I don't know, what, 45, 50 bucks for a $160 case? All around, I think it's gonna be fun to build in, so. Thank you guys for watching. I, I really appreciate it. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, if there's any suggestions you have, anything I can do to improve, please let me know in the comments and we'll uh, see you next time. Thank you.